Okay, so you have your VR pawn set up, you got its movement, all that is going great, right? But you notice that your collision is off. You can very easily just lean outside of your capsule component and your 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 collision, your capsule does not even attempt to adjust to keep your headset inside of its collision. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that as well as how to add crouching. So you have to physically crouch to get under obstacles. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is open up our VR pawn. Okay. And I'm gonna put all of the things we have to do inside of a function. So I'm gonna create a new function. I'm gonna call it, um, let's call it adjust cylinder. Okay, so off of adjust cylinder here, we're going to call add actor, if I can spell, local offset. That. Now the target is still gonna be self, so we don't have to plug anything into that. But the delta location, we're not gonna plug into it as a vector, we're gonna plug into it um, as floats, because we're only gonna be wanting to change the x and y value. So I'll just right click that and split struct pin. All right, so, now we have to create a variable. This variable, we're gonna name it, well, you can name it whatever. I'm gonna name it uh, a set position. Give it, don't give it a value. We're gonna set the value after our add local offset. And we're gonna split that as well. Okay, so now we're gonna call a, um, I guess a node that is specific to VR, which is get orientation and position. And this is specifically for your uh, HMD, which is your head mounted display or your headset. And it gives us the device's rotation and the position. So we're going to take the position here, split the struct. And as you can see here, we have our XYZ and our XYZ. Now we're splitting them because we don't want to plug we don't want the Z location because when we move, we don't want the we don't want the headset to be moving up and down with our head as well. That's not how the crouching is going to work. We don't that will move the entire capsule and it'll just throw things off. Uh, it'll just it just wouldn't work well. I mean, you can play around with it, and if you think you can make it work for your game, go for it. Uh, but for this specific use, um, we're just not going to use it. All right, so we're not going to be plugging. It directly in like this if we do that when you hit play the whole character is going to be flying over the all over the place as you move your head and it's very disorientating because <laughs> you're moving pretty fast and it's not a good time what, what is happening what? Uh, what okay i mean if you can aim yourself it's it's kind of cool. This kind of whole direction your head's going. Oh, oh I can start myself by looking up. I can start myself by looking up. So what we're going to do here is get our headset position here. And we're going to, um, where is it? Split struct pin. We're actually going to subtract the location here. Then plug it in. Same thing here for the Y. Perfect. All right, there we go. Now that's how that's how we want to plug it in. However, we're also going to take our X, plug that into X over here, and our Y, and plug that into Y over here. Now our uh, headset position, our headset position gets set after it reads its values. All right. So in terms of fixing the capsule component, kind of trying to adjust when you lean, uh, this works great. Now we're going to also build into our adjust cylinder function, the crouching mechanism. Now this is also fairly easy. We're just going to take our capsule component. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. We're going to take our capsule component and off of that, we're going to uh, set half height. There you go. Set capsule half height. Plug that in here. And for our half height, we're going to take our Z position of our headset, divide that in half, so divide by two, and then plug that into our half height. So the capsule half height is literally what where should half of the capsule height be before it starts to shrink and try to adjust 
for um, uh, trying to adjust the capsule size. Okay, so now in terms of um, facing and adjusting the capsule component and um, being able to physically crouch, we're done. The function is set. That's pretty much everything. So I'm going to compile and I'm going to throw this into our event tick here. I'll comment on this. I'll comment this later, but for now, I'm just going to throw this in like so. Compile. And let's jump into the VR world and see how it works. Okay, so as you can see, uh, because we unchecked hidden in game, we can see our capsule component. Again, remember to turn this off before, uh, yeah, after we're done here, remember to turn it off so it's you're not seeing it in game. But as you can see, our capsule is with us. If I lean, it's now trying to adjust with me. Now, this does have limitations, obviously. I can lean pretty far. Even up to this point where I'm, I'm doing a pretty decent lean, the capsule is still lined up with my body, like my real life body leaning. My head's over it, but if I'm leaning over a table or something, this is not bad because you still run into the table. You can pick up whatever you got to pick up, that kind of thing. For, in my opinion, for most games, this is going to be what you'll need. Now, unless you're making like an AR game, where you're using pass through, then I guess you don't, I don't think you would really need it. Um, anything that requires you to be moving, like physically walking around your play space, this might not work for you. But in most VR games, in my opinion, and at least the ones I play, you don't really be, you're not going to be doing a lot of physical, like moving and walking around your play space. If I take a big step backwards to the edge of my bounds, this is, it can only adjust so far. It's trying, but it can't adjust all the way, right? And maybe if you tweak the the node and the math, maybe you can make it. But from what I found, this is the best I was able to get. But in most cases, you shouldn't be walking. You shouldn't be making these big steps out of your bounds. And if you do, chances are you'll see the bounds and you'll try to adjust yourself to be more in the middle. Now, again, in my opinion, every VR game should have a reset or... Uh, you know, reset orientation button. Uh, the VR template comes with one. If you press your Y button, it has a reset origin button there. And you can click it and it'll help reset you. And now you can see it resets me. So if I'm way over here and I hit reset origin, it's going to reset my capsule over here. But generally speaking, you should be trying to play in the middle of your play space. And this works great for that. Now, our crouching mechanism. As you can see here, capsule does its job, hits. We can't walk through this, right? But if I physically crouch, right, here we go. You can see that my my capsule, watch, it gets smaller to compensate. And now I can walk right underneath. <laughs> Stand back up. Bam. Crouch underneath. Perfect. See? It's great. It's as uh a little bit of realism too because like I don't I'm not even crouching all the way down I'm just lowering my head as if I was actually trying to get underneath it and I can walk straight through it just fine now because you know this sets the the like when you reset origin it sets the origin to where you're standing you know like I said you should be trying to be in the middle of your your play space but if you're not it'll set it to wherever you're standing However, there is a node you can use that will automatically always reset your positioning to center. But that will cause some issues. I'll show you how to do it just in case, you know, you like it. But I'll also show you the issues that it presents. All right, so if we go back into our adjust cylinder function here, and at the end here, you drag off and... Uh, what is it? It's reset orientation and position, right? And then set your options to position, right? This will, because it's inside our, our adjust cylinder function, which is being called every tick, it will continuously and always adjust your, uh, reset your orientation, right? So not the worst thing in the world in theory, but as you'll see here in a moment, when I hit play, you'll kind of see the issue that arises. Okay. All right. So we have it. So it's continuously 
setting our or like continuously resetting our, our orientation or our position i mean when i start moving you're going to see a weird visual issue right because it's always trying to reset our position as i start to lean and move see that the world is in a constant state of shifting which can be disorientating if you're not careful but it can be disoriented now i mean you can walk around like this it's not that big of an issue it's just you know depending on the game that you're playing it can be a little bit disorientating again i guess it depends on you know your preference and the game you're playing but it is a little weird having the world shift underneath you as you're rocking back and forth but I think what might be even a bigger issue is because your your orientation is, oh, I mean, your position is always being reset, right? If I come up to this, right, I want to grab that, right? I mean, I guess I can extend my arm, but because it's lower, I'm going to bend down to grab it or I'm going to lean over, you know? So if I bend down, not that big of an issue, right? But if I try and lean over, it pushes it away because my my position is being reset to wherever my headset is right so it pushes it away from me as i try and bend over to grab it so this i think is the main issue i mean again again all of this is situational um if your game is gonna have everything at you know you know level with the player so they can just reach out and grab it it's not that big of an issue but if you want to have some more i guess realistic um interaction or just more interaction in general where you want to have them be able to pick things up and bend over and grab things whatever that's going to be a little bit difficult to do with this um with it continuously setting position now again it's not impossible in this situation i could just bend straight down and grab it but it's just it just feels a little you know unnatural in terms of uh what i'm what, what i'm trying to accomplish you know all right, so there we go. Um, now the your capsule collision kind of adjusts with you, and because it's adjusting slightly instead of just always resetting, you can actually like lean over and pick things up. It stays with you. Again, I don't think most games are built for you to be completely walking around your stationary bounds, so I don't think it'll be that big of an issue. You guys can let me know if it's something uh, you guys find that is not as uh, natural, if you will. But in my opinion, it works great for the applications that I would use it for, which is most of them. <laughs> but um, yeah, other than that, I hope uh, I hope this helped. I hope you were able to learn something. If you didn't, hopefully you will in the next one. Um, I think my next one is going to be um, putting together, you know, starting to put together put together the AI enemy, which I think will be fun. So you can stay tuned for that and leave a comment on uh, any other tutorials that you uh, may be wanting to see or any questions.